What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So glad you could all join me today. So, last week, uh, me and my daughter Callie, we went and fished one of the uh, first responder fishing tournaments that we had on Lake DeGray. Uh, it was a nice day. Um, I, I just don't think that, well, apparently I didn't get in the right spots. So, we did get one. We got one fish in the boat, uh, almost a two and a half pounder. Uh, so the day wasn't a total loss. Um, got to spend time with my daughter, which we don't get to do that a whole lot because things is just so chaotic and hectic with work and everything else. So did get to spend some time with her on the water. We got one in the boat. So it wasn't a total loss on that day, but uh, we only had one fish, wasn't really much to weigh in, so I didn't film any of the weigh-ins and stuff like that. We got out there kind of late, so didn't really have an opening or anything like that. So uh, I just wanted to real quick uh, show you guys the, the piece of video uh, when I actually caught the fish. And it, has, it also goes into what I talked about on my last video on culling fish. Now, to clarify, when you cull a fish, it's when you already have five fish in your live well. And now you have to kick out the smallest of those five. And that's when you start to actually cull your fish. But I do show the process that I go through when I'm uh, when I catch a fish, especially in tournaments. I weigh them, I go ahead and put one of the cull tags on there because in my mind, you're always looking to kick that fish out. Even if that uh, two and a half pound fish was the biggest, if I would have caught five, but I, I like to go ahead and put a coal tag on it because I'm always thinking every cast is going to be a fish and eventually I'm going to kick one of these fish out. So unfortunately, we only got that one fish in the boat, but I do show how I weigh my fish and I grab the cold tags and put it on there and then drop it down in the live well. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, watching the catch and everything like that. Uh, if you do, please smash that thumbs up button, drop a comment and share the video. Also guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I am still doing my giveaways. We are, I'm at 197. Once I get to 200, I will be picking a winner. And somebody is going to win a six grill, six gill, my goodness, win a six gill Hamar reel. I will be adding the ceramic ball bearings to it, and that'll be going out to somebody. And then once I get to 250, I will be buying a Monster Bass box. Uh, when I get to the 250, what I'm gonna have to do on this one is you have to let me know what state you live in because the monster bass boxes are according to the regions that you live in so let me know what state you live in that way i can get you the right box with the right lures so again uh everybody thanks for watching subscribe to the channel i think the last time i looked at my my analytics on my youtube only about three percent of my viewers are actually subscribed to this channel so to those that watch the channel but you're not subscribed, I do appreciate you viewing the, the content that I put out. But if you could, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Continue to watch and help me help this channel grow. And I can only do that if you guys are subscribing to the channel as well as sharing the videos. So do your boy a solid favor. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you share the videos. Smash the thumbs up button if you like the video and drop some comments down there in the comment box and hope you guys enjoy the video coming up till the next time guys thanks for watching see you in the great outdoors This is the only dang shirt I got on. Well, it ain't really hot, and then at the same time, it ain't.
freezing, which you didn't even get cold when we were driving, did you? Girl. It's only bad when it's actually when it's actually cold outside. Then when you start driving the boat is when it's bad because that cold wind and air is hitting you right in your face. This right here, that actually feels good to feel that hit in your face. Damn, that's fucking windy. I wish I could afford a forward-facing sonar. Forward-facing sonar. It's the sonars that everybody got on their boats now. You put it in the water on your trolling motor, and it actually gives you a lifetime image of what's going on under the water in front of you, or you can aim it straight down, or they got different modes for them, and you actually be able to see as you're moving the trolling motor around you actually be able to see if there's fish in the area so then you don't spend as much time fishing an area that doesn't have fish. To get one of those things costs about a thousand bucks depending on what model you got. Right now none of them are under a thousand dollars so you're gonna pay a thousand dollars for one of them and then that depends on uh, the brand you get. Hummingbird being the most expensive one, I think Garmin is the cheaper of the three. Out of uh, Hummingbird, Garmin, and Lowrance, I think Garmin is the cheapest one. Open the bottom over here. Or oh, maybe not. I see some stuff right there. Saw a couple of little fish that was probably pecking at it probably not even bass though so or was i just seeing rocks over there the shadows of the rocks Fog is still thick all the way over there. Who was that? Yeah, oh, that's Reggie. Wow. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I don't know if you can get your phone Well, my phone, since when I, the active captain that Garmin has. So anytime they have an update to any of their graphs, if you have the app active captain, you can download those new updates. See, I don't know if that was a turtle or a fish. You can you can download the app or download the updates, and then I can go sit outside in the boat and update my graphs from my phone. And because I've done that. Anytime I get a phone call or text message or email, it'll pop up on that graph, which is kind of cool because then I can read them without having to dig in my pockets to get my phone out just to read all that stuff. So, come on now. The only thing is, in order to respond to him now, I have to dig my phone. Since I got this cool new watch, I can read it. I just can't. I just can't respond off of my watch. Which I think the Apple watches is the same way. You can read them. You just can't. Uh, how do you text on an Apple watch? That thing ain't big enough to type. Oh. That would take too dang long if you had a long text message. Yeah, I'd just rather not. 
I like having the ability to read my text on my watch. And if it's important, then I grab my phone and respond to it. If it ain't important, eh, you just won't get a response. I might send you a picture or something. And I guess that's when I'll start doing Rissa and Braden's picto talking that I used to call it. Their picto chatting. Uh, was it? Oh. Uh. So what was that I used to call when they were snapping and all they kept doing was sending pictures? Like, that is so crazy. Why download an app that you send pictures and then that's how you conversate when you have the person's number? Why not just send them an actual text message? Okay. You should. Because most of your app you have to communicate over the whatever your service is, which means you should have their phone number. See, to me, Snapchat is just another way for you keyboard warriors to be able to run your mouth and talk trash to people and then since the message deletes automatically then for one any evidence of you bullying people will be gone but then it's like oh we can nothing's ever really deleted you I could ask well, it would have to be case related, but yeah, we can ask like the FBI and all of them, crime lab, to get into your phone and access your hard drive and be able to pull up anything. Even on the computers, it's the same thing. Oh, get over here. Mm. Mm. Get your butt yeah. in here. Hell yeah. Come on now. Come on now. I'm about to lose my damn pole. That's nice and that's a nice and girl. Hurry up. Where are you going? I done got water all in my camera bag. Got it. Okay. Now, um, I'm a good photographer. Girl, anyway, give me that. Because here's what I need to do now. Um, go back. Even though I already know what it is, but that one is for fish brain. Move, 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 move. Why are you grabbing mine? Get yours and keep fishing. No, you grab yours and keep fishing. Oh, behind you. Well, go. 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 Throw over in that area. Right over. Just, yes, throw along there. I didn't even feel him bited. I thought I was hung on something there for a second. He's got something stuck on his lip. As much as I like to say I'm ripping lips, I didn't really rip your lip there, buddy. 240. Hell oh, yeah! What do you think I was going to do with him? I don't know. Maybe you wanted to show him back. No, I don't. Pumps are 